Mr. Lord? Um, personally, the 300 has been in place since all this was originally changed five and a half years ago. I'm comfortable with the way it's written. Yeah. But if you want to recommend the change, we can let it. We, we just want to be standard. When we get uh, requests from the national business, they want standardized inventory. So we'd like to stay as standard as we can. We don't get a lot of national business here. We do get a little bit. Okay. What is the standard actual physical dimensions of it? 10 6 by 36. 10 and a half feet tall by 36 feet tall. And again, I just wouldn't want to take down that size that is standard and go back with something smaller that's non-standard. We're talking about 78 square feet. Yeah. Yes, sir. Sure, you go ahead. Uh, be good. Do you have a problem with an existing sign that's 370 where one back is the same more it's only limiting a new sign? You, you understand? Right, and this, this is for replacement billboards. Um, we've not had too many cases come through, many of them have requested variances. You, you know, of course, the size can be considered, particularly if you're removing several large ones, uh, to give some due consideration. Um, but out there, of course, we have many hundreds of them existing of different sizes. Um, the older ones, I think, are typically smaller. Yeah. And some of the new ones, and I know the height and width ratio, I think, has right. been changing over time. Now, ones on the interstate are all larger. They all are all, all, all larger size. And we've got Norman Drive with a bigger size in a lot of cases. Um, St. Augustine. We've got a lot of 10, 6, 30, 378 foot feet. And again, we just don't want to go from a standard sign to a non-standard. Okay. And as far as moving one, we probably maybe choose not to do so. Just because we lose that standardized impact of that location. So really what we'd be looking for is, is on the replacement sign, you replace the sign with like size sign. Exactly. Yes. If, if or, it, uh, or no larger. No larger. No larger. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. No larger. <coughs> than 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 no larger than the next uh, large. Absolutely. Absolutely. No larger than the next large. Absolutely. Or no larger than what's been replaced, but I think there should still be an upper cap. There are some out there where the faces have been combined together. Yeah. And there should still be an upper cap. There are some out there where the faces have been combined together for a double size. And I would hate to replace a one for one. So you're saying, yeah, just cap it at 370, yes. Absolutely. You're saying just cap it so you can't put it in larger than 370. Okay. Yeah. That would be good. And in some ways that would be better. Or a replacement on A replacement on Yeah, that's the only, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I hope someone's <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, the next is the height limit, and in the committee meeting we had, we talked about a 45 foot potential height. Um, it's it's in the, uh, this proposed at 35. I would say at least can we meet in the middle at 40? We've got signs out there that we would be moving that are 40 and above. That if I have to drop down to the 35, it's going to it's going to hurt me a little bit. We want to be above the buildings on the lots that we're located on, and we'll be better able to do that if we have the 40 foot. Where is that? Again? That's that on the bottom of page five. Bottom of page five. Number six. Okay. Next is Bob. I'd really love to have 45, but. I is, has, is 35 what the standard has been? Yes, sir. I do have an opinion on that. 35 feet maximum height has been the standard for over 20 years. It is our yeah. current standard for regular freestanding signs. Yeah. Um, I would hate to play favorites okay. with, uh, <clears throat> this kind of sign. Okay. One thing. All right. Mr. Martin, you okay. uh, can we do at least the 35 feet above grade level of the road? That's already in the Oh, that's already in there? Okay, I didn't know that. I'm sorry. Yeah, if you're on a slope, you're given the top of the okay. slope, and you can, Fair enough. even though the pole may be set lower, you're allowed up to eight feet adjustment. Okay. For that. Good deal. 
Uh, the next one is uh, number seven. A replacement billboard shall be located in the commercial industrial zoning district within 300 feet of a number highway route that is federal, state, uh, or interstate. We do have locations that are on Bay Tree, uh, Pat uh, Patterson, Ashley Park. These are signs that are not in the best of repair. They've been there for years. We would like to be able to, even if we don't move it, we'd like to go in and be able to rebuild it to a single pole, nicer looking streamlined structure, state of the art. And excluding those arteries would keep us from being able to do that. What would you suggest? I'm sorry. Yeah, I would just suggest taking that language out. Uh, just striking number seven, just removing it. Uh, or how would we? Yeah, yes, that's exactly. Yeah, absolutely. You could strike number seven, and then it would include all roads within the county. And again, we're only talking about where there's currently signs too. Mm -hmm. We're still talking about replacement signs. We're still talking about replacing. Uh, I'm just saying the units that we have in those areas, Bay Tree, Patterson, Ashland, and Park, a lot of them are older, you know, and they're propped up, they're wooden telephone poles, and we'd like to clean that up in a lot of cases. It, aesthetically, it would make it look better. Just Throw them out there. Yeah. <laughs> Number seven has requirements for 300 feet from the state route and also zoning district too. The zoning district part I think is important. Okay. Um, my preference is. I apologize, I didn't see that. You're yeah, right. The first part of it. Okay. So I'm just saying that we would be allowed to build on those arteries. You know, leave everything else. But just take out the uh, Bacon Patterson. Uh, Ashley Park. So really what you'd have to do is strike a number highway route that is a federal state. So it would it be all inclusive for all the roads, not limiting it to federal aid finance. Number yeah, well, my question would be, Mr. Martin, is, is that I mean, I'm looking at it from a rationale standpoint here. If we're taking down an old pole type, telephone pole, type sign that needs to be repaired and we're even if we're on Bay Tree or we're off of a state route, state or federal route, uh, it, taking that taking that sign down and replacing that sign, because that's what this is, a sign and replacement. Correct. And going back with with a um, nicer looking a nicer looking sign. As it is right now, the way this is, this doesn't allow him to replace a sign that's off of a state or federal highway. Per, uh, like it has to be within 300 feet of a number of route or get a variance from that requirement. Right. Um, and there are some of the corridors he listed are correct that Norman Drive and Bay Tree are not state routes. Most of our commercial corridors are state numbered um, Ashley Street and San Augustine Road, Hill Avenue, North Boston Road, right. et cetera. Um, so there's no issue with those corridors. That's correct. We, and this might help to clarify, we've got locations on those arteries, the non-federal aid primary arteries that are key for us in this community to be able to give the distribution to the advertisers. I have a question. And, and we'd like to have the opportunity to go in on a fake tree or Patterson and take an old dilapidated wooden billboard down and rebuild a nice single pole. All right, um, let's talk about the corridors. Um, okay. Patterson Street is a numbered route. It's, oh, is it? It's okay. Route 7. Okay. Um, Bay Tree. And only the northernmost of it would be zoned for it. Um, the southern I part. Ashley, maybe? Ashley, well, that's also mm -hmm. a route as well. Um, it used to be 41, but they kept the state route designation on Ashley. Um, it's not US 41. Um, Bay okay. Tree is a local road. But I can think of very few billboards on Bay Tree that are in Valdosta City limits. There are a number of them in Remerton. You know where the, well, now they may be in Remerton. I'm fairly new to this area. You know where the railroad track crosses? Mm -hmm. There's quite a few in that area. Those are all in Remerton. Okay. All right. Except for maybe one on the north side by the warehouse place. Um, and as you get out closer to the mall area, then you're getting closer right. to the state routes. And eastward, then you're getting out of the commercial area, getting in toward the university. And I can't think of any that are on that route. Norman Drive, um, 
down New Hill Avenue and up toward the Spring Chase apartments, there were some that were annexed. Yeah, my thought was really just when you look at the city as a whole, anything that's, you know, been up for 50 years, it's not in the greatest repair, to have that opportunity to go back in and clean it up, whether it's on an FAP or not. So that's the intent. Mr. Chairman, let's simplify this. It, I know part of the reason you don't want billboard. We would not want billboards like in residential areas, neighborhoods, things like that. Probably that's be cost effective. Well, that would be covered by the zoning itself, right. wouldn't it? I mean, right. that, that's that's not an odd issue. So I'm thinking, you know, would it be a way to try to simplify this? I understand what he's saying because you see people who have signs that have been grandfathered in. And they're doing everything they can to prop them up. Absolutely. And they look yeah. terrible. And he's just saying, can we go back in those areas, either though they're not on a state route or a federal highway or an interstate, and at least replace them with something that looks better than when we've seen developments around here that have been totally torn down and everything's gone except that sign. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and we have several in Val Asa I've seen just in recent years where that's happened. And so if we remove that, we still have zoning in, if we, if we strike number seven, we still have zoning in place that prohibits these kind of signs going into areas that zone, planning and zoning would not want them in. If like you strike number seven, you, I would recommend you at a minimum keep the zoning part of that language with mm -hmm. like industrial zones. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, we yeah, stay that, in that that industrial zones. Absolutely. And as far as these corridors are concerned, there's different schools of thought. There's some who would agree that cleaning up the older signs, replacing them with new modern signs is an improvement. There's some who would want them as non-conforming signs to eventually go away. They're, you're going to run into both sides of that argument. Mm -hmm. Okay. Almost finished. Uh, spacing. 